Hi guys, back again and I'm here with a Christmas Harry Potter um, Primark haul. Um, I finally got to London uh, a couple of days ago and we went to the massive Primark in Oxford Street and the one in Tottenham Court Road. So this is going to be a mixture of um, stuff from the two shops. So some of the stuff is uh, for presents for Christmas for people and some for like myself and stuff. So it's quite a lot that I bought there that I was looking for that I didn't have in my local Primarks where I live. So I've divided it and I'm going to be doing two videos, two hauls. So the first one I'm going to do is um, just a clothing wearable haul. And the second video I'll be doing is a homeware and accessory haul. So watch out for the second haul. So I'll get straight into it because there's quite a few things and I don't want it to be a really long video. So I'm just going to crack on with it. So first thing, I'm actually wearing this top, which is absolutely gorgeous. I didn't see this top before in any of my local Primarks, but I spotted it in the Oxford Street Primark and it's um, like a red, it's fleecy underneath, like a sweatshirt and cottony like over the top in this lovely um, wine colour so I thought it would be really nice for Christmas and um, it's got these nice little gold stars, gold moon and um, headwig with a letter and it says waiting for my letter from Hob Hogwarts so I thought that'd be really nice it just feels like really Christmassy it's quite warm as well so I really love this and um, this was £10 so it wasn't too expensive it's quite good value for money I thought so next thing I bought was um, I had to get these um, Hogwarts Gryffindor robes here um, I think they were all the same price um, and the same size, they're just a standard size so I think they would fit kind of, they were more for children, they're not really adult size by the length of them um, but it's got a lot of labels going on here and it's kind of like a nylon -y material, it's got long sleeves it's got this lovely pointy hood with red inside and it's comes with a plastic wand which isn't the best quality but and then some little Harry Potter glasses in this bag here and this was £15 so it's a lot cheaper than getting a robe from the Harry Potter studios um, and they only had it in Gryffindor sadly but I thought my daughter's been after some robes for quite a while so I thought these would be okay I don't think there's any pockets in them though, um, like the more expensive ones, but it's still got the red lining to it which is quite nice and the pointy hood, so for £15 it was worth getting. So next thing I got was some t-shirts and this was the, um, these were children's t-shirts in the children's section and these are a new design that have just come out I think, I haven't seen these before um, it's don't let the muggles um, get you down and it's quite a nice dark charcoal grey with gold and white writing on and the muggles are um, black sequins which is a bit different there and just short sleeve t-shirt, this was in a the kids sizes so this one's like a 12-13 year old size and these were seven pounds so again not expensive oh and on the sh one sleeve you've got um, a little gold Hogwarts crest which is quite a nice little detail there so I thought that was different so that was one of their new design t-shirts that have come out recently I think so the next t-shirt I bought was um, this one for myself and this is quite a nice, um, it's like a brushed cotton, um, it's slightly bobbly, like this um, kind of dusky pink colour and it's just like a white like uni kind of t-shirt, it says Hogwarts with the crest on the front in white and then it's got Quidditch so it's got a bit of a sportier feel to it, so that was nice and they had 
lots of them all in different sizes i think this is quite a new design that's just come out as well and these were eight pound so i thought for every day that was quite a nice one to have and that would go with loads of different things just casual wear and stuff to wear every day so i think those were all the t-shirts i got um, the other thing i got was this um, sweatshirt this again was in the kids section um, I think these are relatively quite new as well. So you've got this lovely um, sequin panel on the front of this one in gold and silver writing, all in sequins. And you've got the name of the houses on there, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. And then when you um, push the sequins up the other way, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on camera. Um, it actually comes up like the um, the other picture on here is um, of a um, the sorting hat, which is quite nice. It's just plain black on the back, black fleecy um, sweatshirt. So I thought that was really different. And that one was um let's have a look 12 pound and that's in the kids section so i thought that was really nice they also had um gray t-shirts like this as well with just gray short sleeve t-shirt and then the sequin panel on the front and it was like um the silhouette of hogwarts on it which was really really nice so that was that one so the next things i got was um some nightwear so I spotted these, and I haven't seen these before. Um, I didn't see it in the other houses, but they had a lot of the Slytherin night shirts. So I th this was quite unusual. So you've got it in um, like this dark forest green colour, and then you've got silver Slytherin crest at the top, and it says all the traits of a Slytherin. You've got cunning, ambitious, determined, and resourceful with a silver snake at the bottom. It's just a plain nightshirt and um, these were not very expensive at all, five pounds. So I thought that was absolutely brilliant. So that's really good for the price I thought. And the next thing was these um, beautiful pyjamas. And I think these are quite a new design as well that have come out for this Christmas. And it is these lovely fluffy, they're so, so soft, um, fluffy pyjamas. And it's got the lovely little Hedwig owl on the front, um, carrying his little Hogwarts letter. And it says, waiting for my letter, again. And the sleeves are very light grey with little white stars all the way and they're so lovely and soft and this came with the pyjama top and bottoms as a set and the bottoms are slightly thinner material they're not as fluffy but they're still really really nice and warm and they've just got the grey background with the white stars with this little white and gold ribbon tie waist at the top um, with the ankle cuffs at the bottom so they were quite nice. Um, they were a little bit more expensive, I think, this set. It's got the little picture of what they look like on the tag as well there. So, and they were £15. So they were a little bit more expensive, but I thought they're so lovely and warm and fluffy and they look really nice and Christmassy. So they'd be a nice present for anybody for Christmas. So they're really nice. So that's all the nightwear and the clothing I got. Um, apart from the one last thing I got were these. Um, I spotted these. I've never seen these before. They were in this box. I haven't opened them yet. They're one pair of um, Harry Potter cosy leggings. Um, and they look like they've got Marauder's Map design all over them so i'm just going to open them now and see what they're like i just thought they would be useful around the house or like to put under a night shirt or something because the night shirt's quite short so you do really need to wear something underneath so i thought 
um, come the like winter they'd be quite good they're actually more like very very um, thick tights but without the feet in um, so they've got the marauders design all over them like that but with they're like footless tights but very very thick um, these were only £4.50 so I thought they're very stretchy, they're like tight so I thought they might be, they're cheap so um, yeah I thought I might as well give them a go and see what they're like. So that's all of the um, clothing items that I bought this time around at Primark. Um, keep an eye out for my next video which will be the second part of this video which is um, the homeware and accessories part that I got when I went to London. So um, yeah, any comments, um, leave them down below. If you like this video, subscribe because I don't always have a certain date when I'm releasing videos. So if you wanna know when my videos are coming out, you know, you'll get a, um, a warning alert um, when the video comes out to watch it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you next time. Bye!